Oh man. On a bicycle going 20 miles an hour uphill on a gravel road is pretty phenomenal. Well, it is 87 degrees today and I can't wait to get on this bike. In fact, I haven't been on a bike in a little while. I used to do a lot of mountain biking back in the 90s in Germany. That was a long time ago. When I had the opportunity to check this bike out, I jumped at it. I can't wait to get out here, take it for a long ride on one of these roads and see what this can do. The first thing that struck me when I was taking this out of the package yesterday was this beefy set of front shocks. These are gonna tame anything I run into out there. This seat, it's more than just cushy, it's plush. I mean, it's really, really nice. For a bike that you wanna take out, be able to kick it up and get going and have a, just enjoy your ride out here on some of these country roads, dirt, cinder, gravel. This thing looks like it's really gonna eat it up. Let's go out there and find out what it can do. This is the first opportunity I'll have to put shorts on this year, so don't laugh at the pasty legs. So I've got my helmet. Safety, always safety. It's a really nice display. Very clear, good size. Can't wait. It's got a dropper seat post, which is very cool. I should probably put the kickstand up. I'm not used to having a bike with a kickstand. All right, let's find out what we can do. Front shocks are great. I'm loving them so far. The Crown Post front hydraulic shocks are fully adjustable and have over three inches of travel. This is all thumb throttle. This is no pedaling. The only issue I've got with it is that it's so strong and it lurches forward so quickly, you really got to be ready for it. And this hill, this hill is no joke. This thing wears you out when you're out here running or walking it. It handles anything off-road really easily. I'm really amazed by this. This is all motor, no, no pedal assist at all. little bit of pedal at the end. This is a bumpy field, certainly not smooth. I wanted to see how much it could handle, how much those shocks did, and I'm going about 12 to 14 miles an hour across here. I'm certainly not disappointed with the performance. This thing flies. It 18 miles an hour in nothing flat. I like that dropper seat post. It takes me a little while to get used to it, but it adjusts up to a better pedal stroke for me. But I want to get going a little bit and enjoy this ride because this is something I've been looking forward to for the last three and a half years while we were building this house. I really wanted to have the opportunity to get out here and ride some of these country roads on a bike. I didn't know that these things even existed. Now this hill right here is the one in my ride that I've been worrying about because it's steep, it's really steep. So coming back, I'm gonna find out what it's like for pedal assist. I'm sure that the motor alone isn't gonna be able to do it. And going up the other side is gonna be something as well. The 
These big fat tires handle it really well. Very well balanced, very easy to ride. Now I'm, I'm just pedaling right now and it's really picking up speed. Now I'm gonna try to take this hill, I got a roll and start, I'm gonna try to take this hill with just the thumb throttle. This is a really tough hill. Yeah, it's starting to slow down. I'm gonna start pedaling just a little bit. Very, very easy to pedal up this hill. Oh my gosh. What an amazing thing. This is my first time ever being on an e-bike. Now that I'm past that steep part, I can just thumb throttle it and cruise on up the hill. It's cruising, it's actually getting faster, 16 miles an hour. Run, bunny, run. All right. And I'm just gently pedaling, and it's kicking me forward really fast. Holy smokes. Now, if I hit the throttle, just the throttle now, I'm sure with this wind, you can't hear a thing I'm saying. again on the gravel let's just see what we can get up to here 21 22 I'm on a very slight incline 23 little kitty cat get on out of the way unbelievable the motor assist on pedaling up a hill like this ordinarily I would have to drop down way down to the smallest ring no no problem and I haven't even thought about it when I'm doing the pedal assist I'm in the mid ring I'm not even on the big one and I can get this thing well up over 20 miles an hour It takes just a little bit for it to kick in after you start pedaling, but once it does, it really uh, it kicks forward. And as you crest that hill, it launches you. Got to kind of get up on my feet here. He's beating up my butt. It's a very nice seat, but it's still a hardtail bike. All right. Now, I am going to take this thing to the big ring. I hadn't even thought about that before. Oh, to the small ring, rather. I'm going the wrong way. You can tell I haven't been on a bike in a while. All right, let's start pedaling, see what we can do. This is a fairly even spot here. miles an hour seems like it wants to hold me back to 28 miles an hour and not let me go any faster than that push a little harder see what it'll do nope when you start pushing harder it backs off the motor assist Very easy pedaling when you're in the mid-range. Super, super easy. And you can take a break, just relax, let your legs rest a little bit. Not too rough on your knees. 
look out for the potholes. Being in the Blue Ridge Mountains, there are a lot of scenic roads that are perfect for demonstrating the capabilities of a bike like this. It really did very well with these hills. Stay away from that guardrail. Got to come up out of the seat for those bumps. Shaking it up a little bit. From a dead start to a dead stop, let's see what we got to do here. And I'm going to see how how close I can get to making it up to the reservoir without actually having to pedal when I get up there, because I'm that that's going to get pretty steep. Here we go. From dead stop. Flying up here, get it up to about 20 miles an hour and hit the brakes. See what happens. Oh yeah, it stops really well. There's big tires, good God. The advertised weight of the bike is 78 pounds. I tested it out to 76 and my weight at this time was 220 pounds. Down to 48.2 volts. One bar down. Well, we're getting up here, but it's gonna start dying out in a second. 12 miles an hour. All right, I'm gonna pedal a little bit here to help out. Not hard at all. And it's interesting, I've noticed that if you're on the throttle and you let go of the throttle and start pedaling, it doesn't kick in right away. See over here, riding past the lake. This handles it really nice. These big shocks at the front are fantastic. I haven't made any adjustment to them. I just kept them the way that they were set up. I might turn them. See, is that is that more or less? Are bikes allowed on any of these trails? Not within the park? Yeah. All right, so which, where would that is, that, is that, is that a big? Park boundary is marked with red. Gotcha. So up here, about a quarter mile, maybe a little bit further. So I can ride about a quarter mile up, and then, and then that, is there any other trails that branch off of that, or? No, not on that. Um, South Fork to Mormon Road goes up a little ways uh, before it enters the park. Gotcha. There's a chain gate. Not the first one that's on the stream, but Okay, all right, thanks. So I can ride up about a quarter mile and turn around. That's all right, this is perfect to check this out because this is quite a hill. Surprisingly, surprisingly capable, considering this is a 75 pound bike. That's amazing. 
All right, so we're up here at the Red Mark, and the Red Mark basically is the beginning of the park. So I'm gonna have to turn it around. I get my fat butt back up on this seat. Hey, buddy. Now, it's one thing I just noticed. You got to be a little bit careful. I'm nudging the pedals forward just to maneuver myself a little bit. And when you do that, that assist kicks in and it shoots you forward sometimes, especially if you're starting to go downhill. So if you're hitting them pedals to try and put yourself toward a path that you picked, you better be careful because it's going to launch you forward pretty quick. Y'all enjoy some of this view. interesting it takes a lot longer when you're going faster so I'm gonna start pedaling now now that kicks in pedaling now now it kicks in that's quite a delay but it seems to it seems to do it more when you're going faster so the slower you're going, the faster it seems to kick in. I'll take you all the way down here, slow down to a stop. That's a beautiful pasture, by the way. If y'all have never built a pasture, there's quite a bit of work that goes into it. That is a beautiful pasture. Start pedaling this thing. I'm on assist five. There we go, now it kicks in. And I mean, it kicks in. That is a very cool thing. Come up out of the saddle here so I don't shake myself up too much. the battery a little bit on the way back down to 47.6 volts yeah those shocks eat that up really nice that is a bald eagle oh my you know what that might have just been a hawk but it was a beautiful one with a white head. I'm gonna have to look that up and see what that is. Go behind this store. Be careful not to launch myself into a truck. Get out of here. That's nice and cold. Sit by the picnic table and take in this terrible, terrible view. So we've done a 14 mile ride so far. <clears throat> this thing has really done great. I've used the dropper seat post a couple of times when I was up on the trail. I put it down just a little bit so that I could lift up a little easier and not, uh, not smash my nether regions too much. Haven't had to use the light, obviously. It's bright and sunny today. I'll turn that on, test it later on tonight. I charged up the rear light. The only thing I don't like about it is that is not a brake light. So when you squeeze the brakes, 
That is not a brake light. Don't know what the brand is on that motor. I've read that it's probably a Bafong, but I think it's branded as a hay bike. There we go. That is a hay bike. Very strong. This thing is awesome. It's got Shimano gears, got Tektro disc brakes, 180 millimeter. The beautiful thing is that all comes assembled when it comes out of the box. The only thing I really had to do was put the handlebars and the front wheel on and the light. Inside the manual, when you first open it up, there's a little digital icon in there that you can put your phone app on. They've got assembly videos for every bike in their line. So far, this thing has been awesome. I'm really loving it. I know that Jafana is gonna get on this thing and she is going to insist that she has to have one. So I know that she's gonna to wanna to have one. My objective is to put Lauren on this one or one of these because with her condition not being able to get out here and pedal like she used to because of the stress on her joints, she will love being able to ride around on this thing. And if you're like me, you're getting a little bit older and you don't want to go for a 20 mile crusher, but you would like to ride 20 miles, it's nice to be able to get on this thing, pedal when you want to, and hit the accelerator when you want to. And just to recap the specs on it, it has an 18 amp hour, 865 watt battery. It has Tektro hydraulic brakes with a 180 millimeter ring, adjustable hydraulic front shocks, 750 watt rear hub motor. The battery is chargeable at five amps, comes with a very substantial four amp battery charger and charges up in about four to five hours. Somebody's barbecuing, it smells really good. Alright, let's hit these downward curves, these downhill curves, let's take them a little fast. Let's see if we can get this thing up a little bit. Bunny hop that one. Can't believe that happened. <laughs> All right, let me adjust this because this is going to be a little bit steeper. This is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Got a little rolling start here. Let's use the throttle and see what it'll do for us. See if that will increase our speed here. Just a bit. Just a bit probably come back off of it in just a second yeah this hill is a rough one all right I'm gonna pedal I'm not pedaling hard that is a bumpy road lots of potholes lots of washout on this road and I'm still on a five to one assist so Every bit of effort I put into this thing, it's giving me a whole lot back. On a bicycle going 20 miles an hour uphill on a gravel road is pretty phenomenal. I need to get myself to a part of the road that I'm going to have some traction if I have to brake hard. bunny rabbit in the road all right bunny rabbit what you gonna do there you go good move lots of rock all right let's see what happens
giving it a little pedal and not hard at all drop into a bigger ring easy easy peasy I'm not pedaling here. Now I'm really draining this battery down here. We've gone 19 miles. So I got two bars left on the battery. I have ticks all over me by the time I'm done with this. But you want to test out the shocks on this puppy, this will test them out. I'm not sure this thing's gonna maneuver up this hill, especially on the low end of this battery. But let's find out. come up out of the saddle and work it but it's working it's happening Ooh, hit the brakes going the wrong way can this thing get me out of here it is out of juice well It can do it. Not easy, but it can do it. I don't think that's something you're gonna run into on a regular basis. And this is the first time I've ever been up here on a bike. But the shots handle it without any problem. No problem at all. All right. Oh, goodness. Go over these rocks. Nice, easy. Go over the lion pit. You gotta use the accelerator or the pedals and not the brake if you wanna get over the lion pit. Wrong controls down to 45 volts on that battery big fun big fun see how far this thing gets me up the hill with this battery being low Will it make it all the way home? That's the question. Starting to lose it, starting to lose here. I might have to pedal. See if I can find the track. There we go. It's grinding, it's grinding. Here we go, come on, you can do it. Nice. All right, got me all the way home. That is the Hay Bike Brawn, and I freaking loved it. I hate to say this, but I haven't been able to have fun like this in quite some time. This is a blast, absolute blast. Except for that little rough part at the end, I would call this mostly a therapy ride. It was very easy on my knees, very easy on my legs, muscles. It was a fun, easy ride. This thing is amazing. Love the front shocks, 
Love the dropper seat post, very cushy seat, great tires, great brakes. We did a 20 mile ride, what was it? 20.7 miles. Still got a little bit of battery life left. Got us out, got us back. I weigh 225 pounds, I'm 6'2". This thing is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I know that Jafana is gonna get on this thing and she is going to want one herself. I think this just opened up a whole lot of fun for us in the future. If you guys rode all the way with me, I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching. There's a coupon or a code down below. If you're interested, check it out. If you buy through that code, you help support the channel. I appreciate y'all watching. Come back and check us out again at Break Hard Orchard. And if you're interested in seeing this amazing house right here as we built it, check out the video that I've got posted down to the side here. We'll see you next time.